What is up, everybody? The History Guy here. I am really excited about today because it's the release day for Close Combat, the Bloody First. Now, if you've been playing um, historical strategy games as long as I have, you are probably familiar with the Close Combat series. I was really into this series for a long time, but it's been several years since I've played any Close Combat games. Uh, so it's going to be fun to dive back into it. This is a completely new engine. It's a little more 3D than kind of ISO, like top-down kind of uh, view as the old combat, the close combat. But I, I feel like from the couple of videos I've watched, the game is basically the same as far as gameplay goes. But they've done a lot of work to, to make this uh, a great game. So uh, the Bloody First uh, refers to the 1st Infantry Division of the United States, which was one of uh, probably right up there with the 101st Airborne, the 8th Air Force, and a few other units that were really just the elite of the elite as far as uh, the units who did the most, at least on the American side, to help win World War II. Uh, Bloody First, they fought in Africa. I believe they fought in Italy. And then, of course, they landed at Omaha Beach on D-Day. Uh, so they were involved and obviously took thousands and thousands of casualties along the way. The 1st Infantry Division is also sometimes called the Big Red One because they have the Red One that is their symbol. Um, that's about all I know, unfortunately, about the Bloody First. I'm going to learn as we go along through these games, uh, through these battles, and learn a little bit more about the 1st Infantry Division and share some of that history with you as we go along. I'm diving into this blind. I played the tutorial real quick just to refresh my memory about how this game goes, but uh, I'm just going to take a look at a few of the features of the game before we dive into a battle. It's got a scenario editor, which I've seen some of this. You can create your own scenario at any point in uh, the history of the Bloody First, 1942, 43, 44. You can set the time, you can set the weather, you can set victory locations, you can choose what map you're going to be on, you can select what direction people will go in, uh, everything. Uh, you can uh, add all of the units that you want to have available to you. Looks like right now I just have the United States. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, I think eventually you can get other units, but it could be that that's all that's available right now. Um, so we've got German units, we've got Italian units, all kinds of things. I'm not going to get into that right now. At some point we will. Um, but there's also a multiplayer online version of this game, which is phenomenal, and I can't wait to play that. Uh, you can use your Slytherin account to log into that. But for now, we're going to hit play a game, and you can see the grand campaign. And there you have it. You've got Tunisia, then Sicily, then Normandy, uh, and that is the order that they were involved in things. You've also got uh, all of these different battles that you can just select an individual battle uh, to play through. Um, all right, so let's dive into the grand campaign, and I guess we got to choose a name for it. We're just going to say... I don't know why that five's still there. There we go. THG, Grand Campaign. Here we go. Following landings in Algeria and French Morocco, Allied forces advance east into Tunisia in an effort to trap Axis forces retreating from Libya. Few of your troops have seen combat before, except for a handful of officers with experience from World War I, a, far, a war far removed from the modern mechanized warfare of today. In contrast, German and Italian troops have seen combat. They will not roll over, and the first blood will be spilled over the barren hills, rocky heights, and open valleys of Tunisia. So we're going to fight the first blood battle, nicknamed after, uh, nicknamed by the British after a fielding position in cricket. Longstop Hill is a prominent feature in the Majera Valley, providing excellent views from across the region. Point 290 is among the important positions that must be held against the Germans. If possible, drive the Germans from the region. Your men are new to combat and must prove themselves against a more powerful force that are sure to counterattack. Okay. So we're going to fight this first blood battle here in Tunisia. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we've got uh, a nine-hour map here. And uh, so you're done the defensive. The enemy has the initiative and will decide the pace and timing of his attacks. If you're able to force the enemy to retreat off map, you can choose to seize the initiative for yourself and counterattack. The enemy's choice will determine the exact time of the next battle. So one of the things I love about close combat is it is a somewhat dynamic campaign. It's not linear. Uh, obviously, it's linear in that it follows the major campaigns of the war, but the individual battles themselves 
uh, are kind of determined by what's happening. So we care, we hold this area, the Germans hold this area, and this is what we're fighting for here. Honestly, if I can inflict enough casualties and take this contested objective, I'll be pretty content with that because I think you probably get to revisit some of these battlefields if it's anything like the old co close combat. So here's our main force. We've got a platoon, headquarters, uh, several BAR squads, some rifle teams, and a couple of 30 cal machine guns. And we've got two additional, we've got two 30 cal heavy machine guns uh, as support. Now, obviously, we can uh, probably swap some of these out. But I think for the first time, um, yeah, I don't think I want a tank hunter team. I'm not sure if that, well, if there's tanks going to be there, I'll, I'll have them just in case, I guess. All right, so uh, I'm just going to go with what it selects for me for now. I'm new to playing this game. I don't want to get too crazy and creative with things. So we'll let the game pick for me. And once I get a little more comfortable, then I'll start making my own little changes to things. So here's our battle map. Date stand is right there, and that's, if I'm feeling adventurous, the objective I'm going to try to take. But otherwise, as it said, I'm, I'm on the defensive. I'm pretty content to hold and let the Germans come to me. I actually kind of like the position I've got here. Um, you can see kind of what line of sight folks have. Uh, I feel like I might just let him come into my killing zone, though. These guys are kind of out there a little bit. Uh, more than I like, so maybe I might have to move up some. We'll see. Uh, but I think for now I'm just going to hold tight, and we're going to let this unfold a little bit. So I don't remember the old close combat requiring you to kind of choose the facing. I don't know if that's new, but we're going to choose defend and have them face that way. All right, we're already making contact. Okay, the Germans are right here. I'm not sure how much view I have of things, but I don't like this BAR team being down in this valley like that. I feel like I'd probably rather have them up on a hill somewhere, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get them to move to a defensive position up here. Oh, if you hit defend, it just tells them to defend in that direction. Okay, that doesn't help me. Defend that way. You guys also defend that way so here's our morale kind of things here if the morale drops all the way the battle ends or the battle ends when the timer drops I've got platoon headquarters back here let's get these guys up so they can at least maybe f provide some morale support there's a rifle team back here as well let's get them a little closer what else do we have back here another BAR team All right, what's happening here? High morale, combat engineer squad. I can't tell what anybody else is at the moment. I'm going to bring this up so I can see a little better what's happening down here. So far, we just have enemy spotted. Warnings, nothing else. What do I got over here? Two 30 cal teams, including an HMG. I really need to get them in position to be able to do some damage. So let's get these guys to move fast up here and then see if I can't maybe move them up here on this ridge in between these other units. All right, he's making a run for the objective. That's a recon team. I should be able to hit him when he gets into my line of sight. What is my line of sight here? If you hold down control, it gives you a little bit of line of sight, but it's still, it's a little, because it's dynamic, it's hard to tell. But it seems like maybe there's something blocking their line of sight right here. Oh, no, don't move, don't move. Just stay right where you are. All right, we've got contact now with an enemy down here that we can't quite tell what they are yet. I do have a 30, a 30 cal machine gun right there that hopefully will be able to hit him, but okay. You can see the red line where their line of sight breaks. They come right up into right here. It looks like I'll be able to hit them. Here's my tank hunter team. I need to keep those guys safe. Let's get them down in this valley a little bit. I got another 30 cal unit right here. 
plop them up on there. Bring this rifle team up. Alright, what's going on here? Our gunner is firing, so that's good. No morale change whatsoever, so it's been pretty static so far. But like I said, I'm not I'm not trying to attack. I'm trying to hold tight until I get my feet wet a little bit, get a little combat experience. What's really cool about this game uh, is how each individual soldier kind of becomes important to you. And as they go along, they get experience and they gain uh, medals even if they do acts of heroism or if they get wounded they get a purple heart and you get to see all of those things and you can eventually actually rename the units if you want to so uh, I'll do that once I learn a little bit more about the big red one uh, and the first in infantry divisions uh, kind of uh, child units that are underneath it the, the different regiments and the organizational structure which I'm not real familiar with looks like for now kind of everybody's a little bit pinned down Nobody's in a really bad situation just yet. All right, this 30 cal team's going to start aiming here. I think they've got... Yeah, they do. That's an SMG unit, too. So if we can take out the 30, this uh, 34 caliber SMG, that would be great. As long as we don't see any MG42s, I'll be happy. Uh-oh, lost a man on this rifle team. Yeah, we lost a man on the rifle team. But the German morale is going down a little bit, so that's good news. Let's just kind of hang tight. I still, I want to get this SMG team up here. Let's get them, I'm going to start sneaking them up, and I'm going to bring them out on this hill to try to get another angle of fire. What's this here? Another SMG. Same thing. If I can, if I can sneak them up to here. Maybe get on top of that ridge right there. All right, his morale's going back up a little bit. But main thing here is I'm trying to inflict some casualties. I want to drive him off so I can run in there and take date stand. So it'll take some time to do that. Let's see what's happening here. These guys are firing. Got to keep an eye on our, our uh, supply. Make sure they have enough ammo. Looks like the Germans must be backing up a little bit. Except for these guys. Which is kind of surprising. Alright. Wheeler's been hit on a rifle team. I don't know which rifle team that is. Can I click on it? Yeah, okay. So this rifle team is kind of the only unit that's been taking casualties. They've lost two now, including, oh, it looks like their squad leader was taken out. All right, I'm going to get this 30 cal unit. It looks like they're probably safe to... Oh, maybe not. Oh, hello. Germans are sneaking up now. Nice, took him out. There we go. He got a little brave, and it didn't work out for him. All right, now I should be safe. I'm going to go ahead and move these guys fast. I want to get them into position. Got another rifle team here, but I feel like they'd probably come under this SMG fire if I try to move them now. Where's my platoon headquarters? Right here. I'm assuming that this circle, this radius, is uh, something to do with the morale boost that the platoon headquarters gives, or at the very least, the uh, effect of, of orders. Who did we lose here? Okay, we lost a guy dead. First, Our first KIA. Do I really not have line of sight from here? I need them to fire on these guys, so whatever they need to do to get in position to do that. Oh, the Germans took the date stand. But their morale's going down, so I must be inflicting some casualties. Oh, these guys are up on the hill now, too. All right, we're going to ambush, which it looks like is already the order that they're... Yep, they already have an ambush order. 
So we're gonna sit tight. If this guy comes up any further, he's gonna be surprised by their battalion. Got a grenade launcher right here. Maybe we can get using that on somebody. Oh, we got a couple German units here too. All right, now we're getting the uh, we're gonna get the 30 cal in position. They're kind of exposed though. I'm not real crazy about that. Do they still not have line of sight on that target? Man, I wish I had some support. Like, some mortars would be fantastic right now. I know I'll get those at some point. I'm thinking maybe if they had been available, I probably should have taken advantage of them. Maybe I'm going to pull these anti-tank guys up and see if I can get some use out of them. I don't know. Oh, my gunner was just wounded. Do they have any targets at all that they can hit right now? No, this this hill right here is in the way. They can't hit these guys? Oh, nice. All right, my 30 cal, these guys are... Oh, that's a, that was an MG unit he was trying to get up there. Surprise, surprise, boys. Not today. I don't have much else I'm able to do right now. Oh, this guy's gonna make a, a gallant charge toward me all by his lonesome self. That will not end well for you, sir. Take him out. There we go. Nice. All right, now that he's gone. Let's move up with this 30 cal. Move up fast. Get some cover on that hill. I want to take this objective if I can. Oh, how did one of my guys end up down there on the bottom of the hill? That's weird. There's some German infantry trying to move up. All right, the MG moved. Now we have a little bit better view of what's in front of us. And there's a lot out there. So maybe I'm not taking this objective just yet. Get fire on these guys. All right, German morale's dropping. That's what we want to see. That's really what this is all about. It's not about kills. It's about morale. It's about making him drop. What just exploded on me? He's got me pinned down.
Alright, his morale's dropping significantly. I'm gonna take some initiative here and quickly move in on date stand with a couple of units. Now, I don't know if he's got line of sight. He doesn't have line of sight on date stand with this MG unit down here, so I'm okay there. It looks like he's pulling back. Oh man, one of my guys is panicking. Oh, it's this unit, the VAR unit. They're taking a ton of casualties. I should have known that would be the case. That was kind of a stupid thing for me to do, to move in over open ground like that. My 50 cal unit's in trouble too, or 30 cal unit. But I took the objective, and I drove German morale down some more. Mine's going back up now. Alright, let's get this rifle team up. Get Platoon HQ up. I'm gonna keep everybody else just kinda hanging tight where they are. These guys have no targets. I'm gonna move them up. Start taking some initiative here. I think I'm safe on this side. So I'll start moving fast as long as I feel like there's nobody there. There's no cover at all out here. It's just open ground. There's not really any good spots for cover. And my BAR team's in trouble. Drive that, oh, the morale's going back up and mine's going down. We do have a German unit right here, the SMGs, but I think I've got cover over on this side. Come on, put some fire on these guys. Now who broke? Oh man, my 30 cal unit up there is breaking. That's bad. Alright, my 30 cal team is going to put some pressure on these guys. I'm assuming that's what the orange means is. Oh, that's their poor morale. Okay, perfect. Just in time for this rifle team and VAR team to get up here and hopefully put some fire down on those guys and take them out. Wiped that unit out. Perfect. Wiped out another unit up here. That should quiet things down a little bit. Alright, guys are routing down here now, but we did our jobs. Now let's put them on defensive a little bit. I'm going to sneak these guys down here. All right, there's 14 minutes to go. I've taken this objective. I don't have anybody up there on that side, though. I got a rifle team pinned down here in a really bad spot. I wonder if I can at least get some cover down here. Blair is berserk. That can't be good. All right, pretty much we're just going to sit tight and hope that we can drive down his morale a little bit at this point. I'm I'm satisfied with this for my first battle. I've obviously made some mistakes. 
I've got a lot to learn about coordinating everything, but I just... I'll get out of here with most of my force intact. And that's really all I can ask for. Plus, I, I will have moved the sticks a little bit. If I could take out a few more of his men, I feel like... Oh, there the morale just went down some more. I got a couple of his units under low morale. This guy in particular right here. I definitely got a little too aggressive. On your feet, Stokes is fanatic. Stokes is heroic. What's Stokes doing that's so great? Where is he? He's in this... Um, there's two units right on top of each other. I don't know why that is. I gotta do something about that. Oh, he's on a rifle team. This rifle team here, that's why. He's the assistant squad leader. Nice, nice. Man, this rifle team, I put them in a bad spot, but they're hanging on. They've done done well for themselves. We're doomed. No, don't yell we're doomed. Man, what I wouldn't give for like an 81 millimeter mortar right now. Just lost another man. No, it's these advanced guys that I sent out there unnecessarily. I've got 11 minutes left. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to drive down his morale the rest of the way. I've got other units I could have pulled up to get a little more fire superiority. Pick up your weapon. Okay, so what's ah four? There's still four guys here in this rifle team that have gotten down there, taken some cover, and they're holding the date stand area. Man, if I could just get a few more casualties inflicted on the Germans, I could probably drive his morale and win this battle. As it stands, I could actually hit truce and stop things right where they are. And I feel like maybe that's the best course of action. But oh, that only works if he does the same thing. Which I don't think he's going to do in this case. Okay, I'll withdraw that for now. Get me out of here. Let's bring up some more firepower. Alright, there we go. Let's hit the debrief. Major victory. Hey, not bad considering. Alright, so we, um, we wounded an officer, killed nine soldiers and wounded ten others. A total of 20 casualties. I uh, lost six men killed, 15 wounded, so fairly even. And a lot of the men that I lost was because I got a little aggressive and a little stupid. But it looks like it actually is going to give me uh, that objective point that I didn't even take because his morale broke. Um, Private Horton has earned the award Expert Marksman. So my casualties were lighter than expected. That is helpful. Um, let's see. We're still kind of in first blood. We've got to fight all of this. It, it's a long campaign. Uh, but I'm super excited to get through this. The men have confidence in your leadership. They may shrug off minor defeats, but major setbacks will hurt morale. Uh, so there you have it. We can actually look at the individual soldiers and see what they did. Uh, we've got a second lieutenant who's a platoon commander here. You can see how things were affected. We've got a little more experience all the way around. 
We've got a bunch of guys in this unit, this BAR squad, that got Purple Hearts. Um, a couple guys that are wounded, some guys that aren't coming back that were killed, unfortunately. But there you have it. So, uh, long way to go. And uh, I don't know how often I'll play this, but I wanted to take a first look at it since the game just came out. I think it's thirty nine ninety nine dollars uh, on Steam. But well worth it if you're into such battles. This is one that can really just consume your time and is amazing when you get into it. There's so much to do and see where this one is concerned. We're going to actually be continuing on the First Blood uh, map. And you can see the reputation and the balance of force. And we're going to continue that fight. But that will be for another day. Let me know your thoughts. Like I said, not an expert. Long way to go, but I'm excited to play this a little more. So please drop a thumbs up and leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.